as you saw, I was picking some more green peppers and tomatoes this morning. We are in November and I still have peppers and tomatoes. I have no complaints. Aside from that, it was cold. So every time I brought a container in, I had to stay <laughs> inside a little bit, warm my hands up before going back outside and picking some more. But if you are a beginner gardener or you're thinking of starting a garden next year, definitely, definitely add tomatoes and peppers to your list. They are easy and green peppers freeze well. So I'm probably gonna take all of my peppers, slice them into strips, maybe dice some, and then freeze them until I am ready to use them. But for today's video, we are going to be making my own homemade laundry detergent. Now this detergent I have made two maybe three other times and i love it and it lasts a long time i make it once fill up a five gallon bucket it lasts me 16 months for 27 dollars can you beat that i mean you probably can but in this time right now 27 dollars for 16 months and that's me jeff four dogs and four cats doing everyone's laundry on a weekly basis all the sheets the blankets everything 27 dollars for 60 months so if it's only you i don't even want to know how long that's going to last you you're gonna have some laundry detergent maybe two plus years maybe even pushing three if it's you your significant other maybe a kid or two I'd, I'd say that's almost equivalent to four dogs and four cats. But anyways, this is easy laundry detergent that I think everyone should be making because in the times that we are in where there is a shortage of this, there's a shortage of that, prices going up, it seems like almost every week at this point, not even every month or every other month, no, every week, having a five gallon bucket of laundry detergent and not even having to worry about that for 16 months plus you can't beat that so the batch that i am going to be showing you on how i make it step by step that batch i ran out of it start of november so my new batch has already been made i did not record that but i did restock on everything just because I don't really want to worry about laundry detergent until now I'm probably going to be pushing end of 2025 or 26 sometimes. So yeah, life is going to be good in the laundry detergent department. And as long as your washer is safe to handle all these different laundry detergent ingredients, then stock up, make it once, it's gonna last you 16 plus months. All right, let's go. From last month's shopping trip, we have Foca laundry detergent for $9.98. Grab a bag of that. We're going to need two Zope bars for $162, a box of Borax for $5.97, a box of Biz for $6.53, and these are completely optional. I used to add some booster scent beads for a dollar, dollar fifty into my laundry detergent, but I have stopped it since I have its own container now. And then just to see for price wise, five seventy seven for these free and delicate, free of fragrance and dye dryer sheets. I'm gonna grab a pack because these are decent for your pets because they're not scented or have any dyes. Now let's look at a price comparison when it comes to liquid laundry detergent. We have Tide Pods for $27.24, Tide 2-in-1 for $10.44, Purex 4-in-1 for $14.97, and Extra for $10.98. Now let's take a look at my spreadsheet. First, let's go down the items. For my laundry detergent, I have two soap bars in it, so total of $324. Focal laundry detergent for $9.98, Borax for $5.97, Biz for $6.53, and scent boosters are now optional from here on forward because the price 
is kind of obnoxious. So if you were to buy the two Zote Bars Foca Borax and Biz, it would be $25.72, which gives you a little bit of playroom if you wanted to reach that $27, if you could find anything else on sale that you wanted to add into your laundry detergent, go for it. Otherwise, with just those five items total, it would be $25.72. Now, as you can see, I have two optional lines, meaning you can omit the scent booster and the two soap bars. So now the new total for your Foca, Borax, and Biz would be $22.48. It is time to hop on over for me to show you step-by-step -step on how I made one of my batches of laundry detergent. The only difference you're gonna be seeing is I will not be using Biz. I will be using two different types of OxyClean instead because I waited for months and months and months during the period before I recorded the video to try to get some Biz and it was not in stock. I could not find it anywhere. So I had to bite the bullet and get some OxyClean. So with OxyClean, you are going to be paying more for it. So you can do your best to stay in the $27 range, but it is gonna be very, very hard because between Biz and OxyClean, Biz is going to be your cheaper alternative. Let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're going to add each individual item grate our Zote laundry soap bars. And in between adding each additional item, we need to make sure it is well mixed. So I like to do this outside because sometimes it gets dusty. And just in case my five gallon bucket does for some reason explode because I didn't close the lid tight enough, it is gonna be all outside, not inside. First, I'm going to add the Foca laundry detergent and it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color to where when you mix this with the grated Zote laundry soap bars, it looks like cotton candy and I absolutely love the color of it. Next, we're going to add our borax as the detergent booster, put the lid on and mix the foca and the borax. Next, we're going to add a box of OxyClean and mix it again. And it's finally time to add our first grated Zote bar into this mixture. I'm going to grate half of the bar, close the lid, take it out into the grass and really, really mix everything well and then finish grating the other half and repeat with the mixing. Now I do like to keep the Zote wrapping around this bar of soap since it is a little waxy and can get a little slippery. And once you get towards the end, you will just have to reposition the soap at a good angle to continue grinding it down until it's almost fully ground. And the last bit I just throw in there with the mixture. Thank you. 
So as you can see, here is my last piece of the zoat bar. I'm just going to toss it in. So this is what it looks like after everything has been mixed up. And this is a super, super pretty color. Now, the only thing missing is my OxyClean, another bar of zoat, and then I'm going to finish it off with another bag of my Foca laundry detergent. Now, in the first video, I had a small bag of the Foca laundry detergent because the big bags were out of stock. I finally went back to Walmart and for $9.42, they had a big, big bag. If you buy a big bag, you will probably have a little bit left over from this bag to use for your next round. And it is a lot cheaper than buying the small bags. And then I took a quick photo to show you the price of the Zoat bars, $1.20. Last time I bought them, they were on sale for 99 cents, but for $1.20, it wasn't too big of a difference and I went ahead and bought two. Now I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, fill the rest up with my Foca laundry detergent, put the lid on and mix it all up really, really good one more time. And look at that, very smooth and easy to now scoop as much laundry detergent as you want to put into your washer. Here is me refilling my laundry detergent container that I keep above my washer. And then the five gallon bucket of the remaining laundry detergent gets stored in the closet and I refill as needed. So hopefully this gave you some inspiration and a great way for a do-it-yourself laundry detergent that is going to save you some money. What'd you think? Are you ready to make your own laundry detergent? I hope this video was helpful. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you make your own laundry detergent, comment the ingredients that you use down below and how much it costs you a month or a year to make your own laundry detergent because at this point it's so cost effective and you spend so little time on it, right? I make it once and it lasts me 16 months. You can make it once and it lasts you two plus years depending on how big your family is. So thank you guys for watching. Not gonna keep you any longer, but I'll see you in the next video.